Well, and to be fair, San Antonio is a better town than Austin. So, yeah, there's know. a lot to do. Austin kind of a dump. Uh, San kind of Antonio, San Antonio. All you gotta do is ask Charles Barkley about San Antonio. <laughs> Go around a river walk. I like ain't a river. river that's a creek. <laughs> that's a creek. But they all be eating a bunch of churros down there. They got Antonio. a bunch of big old cypress trees down there. Yeah, they do. Where? The Alamo? San Antonio. Have we started? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Welcome back in case we have. I <laughs> never know when we've started. <laughs> uh, we've yeah, been yeah. going for oh. five minutes. <laughs> now we started. Hunter I movies. The, I see the numbers wrote. in San Antonio. Well, San we had Antonio. a discussion about see if we could do how long we could go just talking in song titles yeah. to each other. So you know, I believe. Yeah, yeah a few minutes there. That yeah. was blessed I'm, union of souls. I know. For everybody. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring just, me down, uh, Justin. Let's hey. go back to Loop Kimbuck, Texas, boys. <laughs> well, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I don't really know. There you go. You know, <laughs> it, it is what it is. We made it 32 seconds before we got so tickled we couldn't keep going. <laughs> well, That's right, not a song, right. but if you feel like well, writing it, go ahead. Well, hey, I just stopped loving y'all. <laughs> if, <laughs> today? Today. He stopped loving us. <laughs> That's right. If Goblin was here, he could take us higher. <laughs> there you go. I'm keep going. Yeah. That really wasn't a song title as much as I was the one liner, boys. Yeah. I'm just ready for closing time. It's wild. <laughs> but. Hey, the women always get close, better or better looking at closing time. Oh. What's that? Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's you a, didn't that's, know that, did you? That's kind of a paraphrase way that song goes. <laughs> that's that. You know. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Smells like teen spirit to me. <laughs> I'm just going to do ones that don't even make sense. Mm. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, wow. What a life. No, welcome back. It's uh, It's been a couple of few days since we've seen each yep. other. We, we got been there early last week. Yeah, where are we? I feel like yeah, we have done this left. Where'd you, where'd you go? You were gone I or something? I went to Tampa. Florida. Tampa? Dream on. Yep, yeah, I did. <laughs> yep. Nope, we went down there and uh, a man... Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd hate to have that guy's job. Brian, I got a, Brian yeah, Gilly. Hold on, yeah, hold Brian on. Gilly. before you say his job, yeah. I've got way more questions than answers. Oh, okay. Because well. Philip sent me a photograph of you at a meet and greet. Yep. Martin, can you please read what uh, the words below Gillies is? Gilly's family cremation. <laughs> what? What? So I thought we were going to get ice cream. Why? Well, I thought Gillies was like a... Heating and a, cooling? Well, no, that's Gillies if you're here. Well, but, we thought it was ice cream creamery. <laughs> ice cream? I, aren't they like the honky-tonk on the strip in Vegas? That's Like Mickey that's Gillies? Above my Oh, payroll, he's a piano sir. player. <laughs> what? Mickey Gillies. Mickey Gillies is a piano player. That's Elton John. He's the one that sung... No, he's the one that sung, hey, the women get better looking at closing time. Okay. That's not so. Right. Right. Okay. So, either way, well, how does one end up doing a, a a meet and greet at a? And why did they do our for the, cremating people? That's the Duck Commander <laughs> logo with Duck Dynasty around it. When they had the perfect opportunity to just put our duck where their dove is, <laughs> yeah. and they'd have never had to do anything. A lot of Come, guys, y'all call me. Yeah. Like, that's called Mark. Gilly. Business must be dead. No. Right. Hey, ho. Whoa, whoa. hey, what are you talking about? People are dying to get in to see Uncle Size. Si. Oh. Hey, hey. Wow. When they, when they advertised it, they put Size advertisement in the in obituary. obituary. So he had four or five people already call saying, yeah. What happened to Uncle Size? Si? Oh, great. That's oh, like we're the going to be filled. We're going to oh, be filled in those going oh, yeah. forward. Yeah, that's for, that's for about the next two weeks. What, what is a. Uh, what is a. Uh, Jolly fun time at the crematorium look like though. And y'all went to Tampa to go to a crematorium. Mm -hmm. yep. and How hot was it? Huh? How hot was I it? Wasn't, I ain't go. <laughs> Did I they let go. you burn anything? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm burning. I'm no. burning for no. you. There you go. Burn. It's no, a fun you got. Song too. Know, there's some jobs that I, this boy just could not do. That would be one of them. Why they don't talk back to you? Well, no, Crazy no, train. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just couldn't do it. Okay? Yeah. Another one is a policeman. I couldn't do that. Okay. Because you ain't no hollaback girl. Oh, no. Well, no. Because, hey, look, you know, they, the most policemen I run <laughs> up on are way too nice. Especially when okay. they get into the spider webs. Yeah. Paint them so, a picture of so, Birmingham. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so they, they deal with the bad side of society. <laughs> but, but still, what is a crematorium like to meet and greet? Like, 
Are they offering a service after you meet? Them? You can get an Uncle Si special today only for two ninety nine with Uncle Si's He's space. made all this. Huh? <laughs> I, was about, I mean, hey. to be fair, there was a modular home known as a Si Pad. That's it. So is now they're like a. Well, hey, I don't know. Si I don't it's know what si they're gonna urn. do. I don't know what they're gonna do with all that. Okay. So, oh, that'd be tight. Like if your face got made into an urn and people could put their ashes in you, that'd be kind of cool. Earnestly. How is oh, that cool? my face is on enough stuff without without that. <laughs> no, but like somebody would be stuck with that forever. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like that's big time. <laughs> Man, there's very few lifetime deals. That's one of them. But we had a good crowd show up, and a bunch of good people, and it was a good event. What did y'all? Yeah, what was the shtick? I mean, like, why Why does a crematorium no, no, have y'all come? Yeah. There it is. No, no, there you go. That's I what said, I'm trying to get at. I said, what happened here, Gilly? I said, was it just you couldn't <laughs> sleep one night and you come up with this bright idea to invite me? Is this Gilly? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. That's Blake. No, no. it's Blake. Blake. Yeah, that's, Blake. Blake. that's young oh, McMillan. Yeah. He drove over from um, hey, Disney, he World. Disney World. Disney wow. World. Wow. Yeah. He's Blake changed. went from the happiest place yeah. on earth to we even, Uncle Side of Crematorium. Hey, no, no, and we even had a good meal. We did, okay? we and did. then Blake, you know, yep. so I didn't even recognize the rest Blake. of the night. Yep, that's crazy. I did not even recognize. Oh no, he got a great yeah. looking shirt on. He's look, he's looking. Hey, right. I knew you'd like that. I had to ask him. I said, "Well, how's uh, adult life now?" Yeah, he said, "You was right. It sucks." <laughs> <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, that's why I refuse to grow up. So you you did you did you go fishing while you were down there? Yes, I did. I you caught did. three bass and I lost two of them. And the one I lost was a big one. Did anybody ask you to see your license? No, but he did have them. That's well, good. I did have them. We got oh, yeah. them. We got them before we went. Phil sent me a bunch of pictures. Here you are eating. That's Gilly. That's, that's our boy Gilly. Gilly. That's the guy. That's Gilly. And then Phil the the fantastic photography is sent me this <laughs> that's an accidental Man. accidental picture that what is, am i supposed to do with that that that's is a, the restaurant yeah oh okay yeah you were only supposed to get three that was big a, lake. that's a bonus picture that's a bonus picture. Yeah, that's, that's a where bonus. i jumped that's in at so jump did, did gilly offer to hook you up when that time comes for you like <laughs> oh, you oh, he didn't do, no 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 <laughs> But hey, I, mean, I do think it's an interesting no. topic on where we oh. stand on cremation. Well, no, no, oh, it no. is. It is pretty oh. cool. Yeah. No, no, because we we did talk about that because he was saying all the different you know things that it, you know because like a normal funeral is anywhere from like ten thousand to about depending on how how big you want to do it. Yeah, you go to twenty. All to go throw you in the ground. Yeah, just to put you in the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, with that his way, okay. Yeah, it's it, I, it's a it's a hotter deal. It was. <laughs> you didn't need to in and out you service. But hey, look, you got me. No, no, well, look, but hey, like you know, my wife told me. She said, "Hey, just just when it comes by time, just cremate." Hey, me, me too. You know, really? I said, whoa, Absolutely. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, I, said, oh, oh, so I ain't falling for it. I said, "Oh no, no, no!" I said, "Darling, I can't. I, I no, I can't. I can't handle that." What Why? would Jesus do? You know? Raise your dead body from the ground, put you hey. back together because he yeah. controls the molecular yeah. structure. Oh, no, yes, no, he does. No, I'm fine with that. I'm not saying Jesus couldn't. Yeah. yeah people that get cremated, they're going to be all right. Well, yeah. What I'm saying is I'm going to be buried because Jesus was buried and fire freaks me out. <laughs> I don't care that I'm dead. <laughs> Well, no, no. Oh, I, wait. We won't do it until you die. But you look, don't even have to know. Oh, oh I thought it was. Si, yeah, Johnny D nice. got one of them weird fears. Like, all of a sudden, he wakes up at the crematorium. He wasn't really dead. <laughs> and you hear and now go, you just get burned alive. You hear two, <laughs> one. <laughs> and you're like, well, yeah. I didn't make it. Hold on. <laughs> you hear him. You hear him. You hear him. You hear him. Woof. <laughs> yeah, you wake up in yeah. that and you know that the gas was turned on so. i tried to do and right it father and it lit. <laughs> like when phil opened up that green egg oh, don't no. open it Woof. yeah I don't oh, know. Fire. but this is a cheaper way to go yeah it is for those that cannot afford 10 grand or 20 grand yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I'm in on this no no I'm you're serious. in right 100 percent. you're 100 percent. we're just gonna I would, throw you I out over on Highway 15 when somewhere. You, when you cross the Beth Bayou Lafouche Bayou. Bridge, open the lid and the window. <laughs> <laughs> and just let your boy go. Just, okay. Boom, just keep going at about 55, and we'll see how far I make it. I'm back in duck country. A couple good. of miles. No, hey, look. I, nah, you'd be surprised at how small you get once you've been burnt to a cross. Well, no, no. I'll right. fill it look, up. <laughs> look. You're bigger than most. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fill why, it up. That's why when I tell people all the time when they're really being hard on themselves, I said, hey, 
you need to lighten up, dude. Or you need to lighten up, lady. Mm-hmm. You know, because, hey, look, you're dirt, okay? So you can only go up from being dirt. That's right. I would just <laughs> rather, like, my family go down there somewhere and enjoy being where my ashes were Yeah. than the sad people I see at the cemetery. That's a good point. I don't – there's nothing about the cemetery that I enjoy. No. At it, all. Except no. on Resurrection Day, it's going to be pretty now, cool. Now, that'd be cool. It'd be a really cool place to sit and watch. Like, <laughs> yeah. if you have stadium right. seating. But if you're there, it's a – and, and, but, but you, they're going to oh, be calling hey. you from all sides of hey. every duck hey. in America. Look, but you, hey. cool. Look, there's parts of you in Canada. <laughs> there's parts of you in Mexico. <laughs> Heck, yeah. Parts of me in somebody's belly, probably, from where the duck ate I don't it. have it's a cool. problem with it either. Yeah. Hey. Heck, yeah. On this side of the room, we'll take the cremation. Well, no, no, like he said, okay, but hey, but hey, you, you were talking about one, hey, yeah. <laughs> the only time the the, the graveyard's going to be really a happening, it'll be better than the best Super Bowl you've ever been to. Oh, they're well, going to be racing yeah, out of there. Yeah, when Jesus comes soom, back, soom, oh, soom, that's soom. where you want to be. Yeah. Okay, to see what's going down. Because <laughs> it's fixed to be a happening. That's well, wild. Happen. I'm going to be a world traveler. Oh, hi, We're going to get some theology buffs hey, in the emails. Oh. oh. Just letting y'all know. Oh, hey, hey, we're ready I'm for skipping them. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, I don't know. No, we're not. Paul because, Phil. hey, look, we're talking about life and death here. Okay, and tr trust me when I tell you, you know, because, I mean, I had a young man that Philip took down the field to preach the gospel to him that said he wasn't going to die. When? Well, hey, guess what happened? Phil tried to preach the gospel to him, and when he got to the part, told him, hey, you got two problems, son. You got a sin problem that Jesus took care of and a death problem. And he told you ain't putting this guilt trip on me. And he got his truck squalled out of there. Well, hey, guess what happened two weeks later? No. He was in the bar. Oh, yeah. Got stabbed to death. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we're all going to die. Yep. Okay. And you're going to have to deal with his way, the cremation. Now, I will say, before or, we go down that road. Yeah, what a fun story. Before though. we go down yeah. that road, I, <laughs> hope, I <laughs> hope I'm in good enough shape that they can park me out and use me before we get there. Like oh, well, yeah. oh organ like, donor. Oh, yeah. use, use everything I got. I was just that saying, are usable. you an organ donor? Absolutely. Okay. Well, hey, that's great. Absolutely. Hey, I, I am too. And I wasn't until Alicia no. talked me into it when we were young, newly no. married. She was like, "You hey. weren't gonna be." I just never thought about it. And she okay. was like, "Hey, you need to be an organ donor." And I was like, "Yeah, I don't know if I." Now, yeah. see, there's some people then that I say that the people, you know, the I paramedics. I get size kidneys one day, man. <laughs> now that may be here forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you. Hey, try and cremate sign. There's just two kidneys there's just a, sitting on the table. There's a real chance <laughs> that his kidneys make it to the resurrection. Tell them, tell them, hey, what is that? Tell them, that's all that's left of Uncle Sam. I mean, they may, is. they may put them in the paper mill to work the pump station out there. <laughs> I mean, it's wild now. <laughs> it's mean, wild. But let's take a break. That way, all y'all that's mad at me and Philip for saying cremation well, is hey, okay. No, they're mad breath. at me for saying stuff, hey. too. It's going to be uh, a weird one. Uh, all right. Right. Well, we'll be back right after this. Look, or, don't waste your time getting mad. Life's too short to get mad. So, what would you do to your eye? Oh, wow. What's happened to my eye? It's red. It's red? Mm -hmm. You should go see a doctor. I don't know. I, it was it was itching while we going. I done this to the eyelid. A medical you know? need might have just came up, Martin. I know you. So oh, I may now have weird. an unexpected All medical away. need. And well, you know what? You know what unexpected medical needs come with? Unexpected medical bills. Yes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And how uh -oh. in the world are you going to pay for it? I'm short on cash right now. So hey, guess what? Hey, well look, if you're short on cash, do we have something for you? And, and oh, it's, it's well, a solution. Tell me about it. It's not only a solution, it's a biblical solution with our friends over at Samaritan Ministries. Samaritan Ministries is a community of Christians paying each other's medical bills. This is not insurance, it's assurance that you're part of a healthcare sharing community where members care for one another spiritually and financially when a medical needs arises. Hey, this is good people taking care of good people. There you go. And look. You, hey, you want, I like it. You want to know how it works? You can join yeah. anytime. Look, you didn't know. Now you can join. I wish I had a mirror now to check it where I can see. Oh, you ain't got no uglier. Oh. But yeah, you know, your medical bills are sent to Samaritan Ministries, and they notify fellow members to pray for you and send money directly to you for your shareable bills. Your medical bills get paid. You'll find comfort in prayers and encouragement from fellow members. And when another member has a need, you'll do the same there for you them. Help. Yeah, yeah, pay it forward. There you go. I like it. This isn't a faceless company. It's an opportunity for ministry. And what we love is that when a medical needs comes up, you don't have to give second thought to whether the hospital or doctor is in network. 
go wherever you want because Samaritan Ministries has no network restrictions. So you have total freedom to choose whatever doctors, hospitals, and treatments are best for you and your family. And members also get access to exclusive health resources to help keep medical costs low. Samaritan Ministries is a biblical solution to healthcare where we can bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And it's affordable because they're focused on ministry, not profit. So sounds like something you like. You can join 80,000 Christian households across the nation sharing $30 million in medical needs every month. Become part of this community today at SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. That's SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. Join today. Well, I got one other thing to say when we get back on. Well, go ahead. Let's roll. Well, hey, look, here's the deal. Yeah. Side star and Mac. His dad, for example, when he was y'all sick, Philip wanted to talk to him about, hey, Dad, you got to be thinking about, you know, what what you want me to say at your funeral. (laughs) Yeah. Uh Hey, no, yo. Because you got to talk about stuff like that. Yeah. You know, and and people don't want to talk about their death. You ask your dad that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What he? He was trying to, he was trying to preach the gospel. It worked. Yeah. Good. Everybody's his soul. Yeah. He wouldn't listen to it. So he finally went to, Excuse me. He go. finally went to Phil and said, hey, look, I got a problem. Yeah. And Phil said, what is it there, Mac? He said, hey, my dad won't listen to me, and I need to talk to him, preach the gospel to him, you know, before he passes away. You know, and Phil, <laughs> Phil's the one that told him. He said, hey, hmm. next time, go to this house, knock on the door. And when he comes out, he said, hey, look, what do you want me to say at your funeral? <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, that <laughs> it shocked him so bad. Yeah, he's, yeah it, he sat that, down and talked to him. Yeah, he aggressive got his, tactics. Or yeah, he got his attention when he said, "Hey, what do you want me to say about you <laughs> when I'm standing at the gravesite?" What did he say? He said, "Come on in, let's talk about it." <laughs> but before then, he had shunned me. I said, "Dad, what's your relationship with Jesus like? I want to talk to you." And he was like, "Well, oh, you got to go." He had an excuse for everything, and so he would not listen to me. So I went and talked to Phil. Then I did like Sai said. I knocked on the door. He opened it up. I said, what you want me to say at your funeral? Huh? About your relationship with Christ. What you want me to say? Uh, come on in. Let's talk about it. Yeah, because there's things that happen in your life. Now, Phil Robertson always been one to get you with shock and awe. Well, no, no. Hey, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Things happen in your life that get your attention. Like if you've been a healthy person and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. you got some kind of disease that disables you. Yep. Well, hey, you have a come to Jesus meeting and say, "Ooh, wait a minute, I'm not as good and and as to go as I thought I was." Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. You know, so I better you know take a inventory of my lifestyle and then make some adjustments. You know where? Yeah. So yeah, you know, like I said, that's why if anybody gets mad over this, hey, we're talking life and death here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And hey, you need to face that because you're gonna face it one day. But then will you be buried or will you? No. Be- well, no, no. <laughs> and you, still, hey, you can still be buried. Yeah. But hey, look. I'm going to be. Well, that's I'm just saying there ain't nothing smoke. saying we- that my man Jilly can't get you in a nice little sack. <laughs> hey, they we can smoke him in a pipe, yeah. Martin. And, or, hey, you know what? <laughs> hey, I got a buddy of mine. No, no, no guff here. <laughs> no guff. <laughs> no guff. Hey, guff. Keep the guff off the face. It's so guffless. Go ahead. His first shell of every duck season has got his dad's ashes in it as the buffer of the shotgun shell. So his first shot every season, we know it. He gets the first shot on opening day to shoot a shell that has been reloaded with his father. And it's actually a really cool thing to be well, a no, part no, of. Well, no, because, hey, dad is with him on this hunt. He's yeah. with, He's been with yeah, us for the last cool. 10 years. Uh-oh. I've known this cat. And yeah. first shot every day, opening Does everybody day, just it's him. him shoot? Yes, it's him by himself. Oh, that's cool. First duck of the year is Brad. I, like I like it. Si, we, right. me, me and Martin going to do that with your no, ashes. No, no, hey, I like that. You'd miss, though. Uh, I wouldn't. Yeah, he he would. might want to let Martin he, shoot. I'll let him hey, shoot. That's right. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll, let Martin, Phil I'll shoot let Martin it. shoot. Okay. Let Martin shoot it, Sai, if you want to kill <laughs> something. <laughs> Gonna be the first. It, it, that's gonna be a, the first duck size killed in thirty years. Right, but that's hey, a really I, according to Phil and, si, uh, and Jason yeah. Robertson. That's I'm the first on your duck side. I ever killed. I'm on your side. Hey, I hunt with a boy. I know what he can kill. Hey, no, he's let up. me shoot it, and then it, in, hey. in, in, in true size form, I'll claim it. Hey, no, well hey. then I need to shoot it, and then you claim oh, it. I'll just claim we'll, it. Hey, well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah, because hold on, because Christine told me not too long ago, she said, Philip, you know, if something happens to Sai, you're gonna have to get up and. Talk about him. 
And I was like, huh? She was <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you need to be ready. I'm like, not going to be able be ready. to. Your very Sorry. slight impression of Christine, by the way, always makes me happy. <laughs> Philip, <laughs> She you will know. tell you like it is. Yeah, the only thing he's got down that she does is the... The enunciation. She enunciates. Because <laughs> she hates the way all of us talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know it drives Rinsing. her nuts. She's from Kentucky. She likes yeah. that. So, yeah, you, you do know that, right? I don't know. You, no. you haven't thought about that? No. I no, don't just put think me, about No, it. me either. Just put me on a toting schedule for Si. I don't want to. Well, look, I ain't, I ain't going to be a pallbearer. I won't have to talk. Yeah, we are. Oh. Because I love the man so much. Hey, I'm going look, I just, know you're not supposed to be sad and it's gonna be a change out. of address. Did you just call it Paul Barra the toting schedule? The toting schedule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me tote him. King Tote. Hey, when I go, let me tote I want him. everybody just to have a party and have a good time. But Deal. we ain't going to the first couple of days because hey, we're hey. gonna be sad as crap because hey. the world lost a bright light. Uh, hey, I can okay. guarantee you that. But when like, Phil gets up there, I'm gonna have a hard time not laughing. <laughs> Well, what's gonna be your walk up song? My brother, what's gonna be your walk up song? <laughs> not you, Phil. Not me. He's talking about he Phil. He stopped Phil. loving her today. Oh, Phil Robertson. Oh, no, size got be sharp dressed, man. Size <laughs> so got right, another right now, right here, right That's now. That's what I opened the show with, boy. So it's got to be sharp. Hey, can I wear a camo to your been, funeral? I, I don't care what you wear. Yes, <laughs> it has been decided right here, right now, sharp dressed man. <laughs> We'll play hey. at the beginning of Size Funeral. No, right. on the way out. Hey. And on the oh, way out. Boy, hey. Just on the way out. Hey. You can't beat yeah, that. I like it on the that way Billy out. Gibbons, that Billy Gibbons getting down on the guitar. See? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Every girl crazy about it. Just so, it. Just, just so we're all clear, because no, none of us know when any of us going to go. You can wear camo to mine, too. You ain't got to dress up. I, I want y'all dressing up if I pass before y'all. Can I go through your closet and wear something that out of your collection? Do you no, think, I have to have a tailor. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yes, yes, yeah. you can. Yeah, you can. Anybody else? Yeah. Going once? <laughs> Shirtless with overalls at Phil's? <laughs> yeah, hey. We can all hey. just dress as a different Duck Dynasty hey. character. Hey. Hey. I'm showing up on a lawnmower. Hey, no, no, and drive, and drive to fit in a funeral for this on the lawnmower. <laughs> This backfired. <laughs> <laughs> and then have somebody pushing us in the outhouse. It's over when you get ready to go push him out in the outhouse. That's God, amazing. Really. I didn't know we were going to get to laugh this much. Me down. It's about all of our funerals. <laughs> Who oh, ever hey. thought a crematorium would lead you here, boys? <laughs> my only wow. request is no Gillies pants allowed at my crematorium. funeral. Oh. No pants? No shorts. pants. Shorts only. With shorts a drawstring only. preferred. <laughs> yeah. If you, wear short, if you wear pants, you're not allowed in the door. That's too you, fancy. No toting if you're wearing oh. pants either. Yep. Everybody in shorts. Heck yeah. I'll be on your toting. Hey, if, I, if I am, I'm going to be there Tommy Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Well, I think I speak for us all when I say we hope you go first. Yeah. <laughs> See, hey, that would be But fun. there's no denying that it could they're be. fanatics. They so, are. Hey. There you go. There you go, baby. <laughs> oh, man, I love we it. We snuck an ad in. Wow, look at that. Free one. Hey, we're going to we'll take a break. Why, why right. are we taking a break? Hey, take a break. It's yeah. a beautiful day. Look, the busy fall season's already in swing, and if you're looking for a way to eat more wholesome, convenient meals for the jam-packed days, we got it for you. Factor. Uh, I, number one ready-to-eat meal kit in all of America, thank you. Yeah, that can help you fuel up fast with shelf-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track to your healthy lifestyle. So, I had a shredded chicken taco bowl right before I came over here. You just, you're at work, it shows up to work, you got the app, you pick your meals on Wednesday, they show up on Monday, slip them in, boom, bam, poom, I ain't got to run to the store, save money, save time, and they taste better. It's the smartest thing you can ever try, people. I, I, it. It really is because it's two minutes or less for something really good. Look, like, the they, app's super fun too because you can go out in advance. <laughs> On November sixth, I'm getting cavatappi and Italian style pork ragu, jalapeno lime cheddar chicken, and all of those oh. again ready in just two minutes or less. And they're good. They are really yeah. dead gum good. Okay. So if you need to adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step, choose from more than thirty five weekly. Flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals ready to eat in two minutes. Look, if you're looking for the taste of fall. They got it. You want cranberry pecan chicken? They got you. Apple Dijon pork chops? Yeah. I mean, Thank hey, you. look, here's the best thing. If you don't know how to cook and you ain't going to try to learn, hey, go with Factor and it's already done for you. I Thank guarantee you. you. And if you want to hey. like feel really special for lunch one day, you can level up with a Gourmet Plus, get premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, 
We know that man oh. loves him. Look, he'll do a truffle shuffle uh-huh. if you ain't careful. Yeah. Look, and asparagus. So they got all the fancy things. I mean, it's unbelievable. And if mm-hmm. you're too busy running around to think about lunch, you can keep your energy up with lunch to go. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave required. If you're a calorie counter, they got you. They have dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. If you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals, look, Protein Plus take care of you. 30 grams of protein or more per serving. And if you want to just round out your meal, because who doesn't like add-ons, Uh-oh. you can get some breakfast goodies. You can get some apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon, hey, cheddar, and egg bites. Special stuff, boys. Potato, bacon, and egg breakfast Ooh. skillet. Or if you're into it, they got juices, shakes, smoothies. Doesn't matter. They have something for everybody. And you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice. They off they offset 100% of delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for production sites and offices, and feature sustainably sourced seafood in their meals. This October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals, enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off. That's code DUCK50 at factormills.com slash DUCK50 to get 50% off. I made a pickleball court this weekend. I see you're on that bag. It's the fastest growing sport in America. Pickleball. But all the tennis people hate it. What? Are they actually playing with a pickleball? Are they actually playing with a pickleball? Yeah, yeah. it's called a pickleball. I don't know what it is. It ain't a real pickleball? What what are you saying? Yeah, a real it's it's, a, it's like a plastic side. Oh no, they need to make a real cucumber. Oh no, I wouldn't take but one pickle, hit. Pickle, if you're gonna play pickleball, you gotta have a real cucumber. <laughs> that's this is a my, pla- that's just my. my it's like ping pickle. pong and tennis, and my kids were oh, talking about deal. it, and so they made all A's. So we made a court in the driveway, and it's the most fun I've ever probably had in my entire life. <laughs> Do you know the rules, or you just make them up as you go? Yeah, make um, them up as you go. We we. Make them up as you go. Hard to say, really. Because you know Willie has a pickleball court. I know. Yeah, I'm Uh I'm training up to go beat him Uh one day. But he's he's probably pretty good at it. I still don't understand pickleball, so I don't really. At some point, you just start slapping the ball as hard as you can at each other, and then somebody wins, and everybody laughs. I'm going to have to. When y'all play at Willie's, y'all need to invite me. Y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Martin's not going to attend. That's what I'm going to show Martin, If you see me out there on a pickleball court, you just go ahead and dial up Mr. Jilly because you boy's liable to have a massive heart attack. <laughs> well, no, no. Something's going wrong in this. Are no, you ready here, for the I wildest am. story of the day? No, no, because I'm going to show up with one thing. What? I got on the pickles. <laughs> I'm going to be in the stand. The loser has to eat, eat a pickle. Hey, I'm going to be eating pickles in the stand. You ready for the wildest story of the day? Yeah, go ahead. You know how I started my day? I've already had two EKGs done this morning. What? You having heart issues, big dog? Oh, I didn't yeah. know. Did you buy one of them little things that's on the commercial where you put your thumbs on it? What? Or the EKG? Do they have that? Yeah. You I, ain't seen that? No, I'm 34. Yeah, we guy. watch very different television. No, no. It's a guy that runs around in the country in a, bu- in a tour bus, and he jumps out and says, hey, how's your heart? And then he pulls out this little stupid uh, handheld EKG. That you just put your thumbs or fingers on it. Hey, it, t- it tells you, you know, does your EKG. Well, I've seen that. Y'all need to watch TV for crying out Well, I, we do watch TV, but we hey, don't. y'all must watch. PBS has a different commercial. Well, you got to have a, You got to watch the good stuff. They're like, the price is right. No, I was like, I woke last night. I had all these weird chest pains, but apparently I just like. You had gas. I, well, yeah. you had gas up in your chest. What'd you eat? Hold on, take it easy on him. <laughs> Something with my he had ribs. Gas it was up in his hey, chest. I've been there. Not Something too long ago. right between like these, and I was like, "Am I? Am I? Am I okay? Am I okay?" Am I and I was like, "It's not pain, but I don't like it." And so this morning I woke up and I was like, "You know what? I'm just gonna head on over to GT's place, see Caitlin, walk in." They're like, "What's happening?" I said, "I don't know, but this hurts in this region. Not hurts, but it's weird." And so she said, "Hey." See, I imagine Brittany gets those same kind of feelings every time I walk in the door. Yeah, right. <laughs> Makes her heart go pitter patter. Those, those are butterflies. My heart was going weird, and I was like, "What is happening?" So I said, "You know what? You had gas. I I don't know. <laughs> Have you got the results back? Oh no, my heart's good. Yeah, we don't know what the problem is. That's probably what it is. I think I tore something. No pickleball from being a fat boy. Uh, that's, no, that's it gas. happened before pickleball. No, you, yeah. <laughs> Si, what know. is it, Si? It's gas. Pick, pickle gas. It's a new he feeling. Let it, he let it rip and went up and sit down. <laughs> did is you eat, that possible? Did you eat chili? <laughs> yes, no. I ate soup. What kind of soup? 
I have made Hold on, let me call Gilly. Hey, hey, look, if you what kind of soup? It's very important. That's right. Why is that important? All right, just tell me what, what you ate. Tell the truth. There was, uh, I made it myself. Bad right. bad, no, nope. it yeah. was a no. bunch of Italian sauce. You need to buy you some. Oh. Oh, no, that's, yeah. why, that's why you have it all this time. I've junk. never had that feeling before, though, and I, and I was like, I got to figure something out. Hey, it's I Italian got a soup. feeling. You need to change that Italian soup out, okay, that you're mm-hmm. making. I just buy you some regular chicken, Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Mm-hmm. I think I'd rather go out earlier. No. <laughs> I think Look, I'd rather die with you heartburn and trouble. Italian sausage in my right, system. Anytime <laughs> you're having trouble, a weird feeling, don't feel good, you're tired, yeah. eat your can of chicken noodle soup, Campbell's. Well, yep. I went with and straight hey, up. Then you're going to feel better and you're going to, hey. Be, That's the only like, thing I own brand side by. Right. Campbell's, Campbell's chicken mm-hmm. noodle right, soup. Everything chicken else just says. Yeah, I don't care about no. it. Red Red well, Red I didn't like how I felt this morning, so I said, well, I'm just going to the doctor, and well, I'm going to say I don't well, like that's how good I feel. Thing. But aren't you glad yeah. you went? Oh, yeah. Well, no, now no. I can joke about it. That's yeah. a good thing. This morning, I wasn't. I, I was Ooh. like, I don't know that I can go tell well, jokes. That's how I was when I was driving down the road and had to pull over and go to the ER. When did you do that? Well, you weren't here a couple weeks ago. About a month ago. Nobody yeah. tells me anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm laid up in the ER for four hours. What? What? You ain't told nobody this. I didn't tell y'all this. No. You don't tell us nothing. I thought you knew. So look. Tell I, us what happened. I was driving to Rustin. I knew about it. So I knew about it. We talked about it on Unashamed. Yeah. yeah. That's why I thought they knew. We're yeah. not yeah. that podcast. So Man. so I was driving to <laughs> Little work. Little brother again. Unbelievable. Let me tell you the perfect storm. I'm driving to work. My face is numb on the left side. And I've got this these bubbles underneath my chest. I'm like, oh, I'm dying. At least dying. I mean, so I pulled over when I got to Ruston and I called my buddy because I was about to pass out. I said, Come get me. And he was dizzy. He Ta- was dizzy. Take me to the ER. I'm fixing to pass out. I don't know what's yeah. going on. They come got me, took me to the ER. I stayed in there four hours. They did all the blood stuff and they tested everything. And the guy comes in, this foreign guy, and he was like, uh, You, Mr. McBilly, you, you okay? He's Indian. Your heart is good. You're you're not having a stroke, he said. But you got gas, <laughs> 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 and then he said, and you have a UTI. A urinary U- the University of Texas institution. No. Boom. Yeah, you're an urinary tract infection. infection. Okay, so that's what was. I was I was dehydrated, and I wish you'd have told me this story before I googled everything last night that yeah. had me convinced I'd never see my kids grow up. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> never oh, Google crazy. anything, people. Ugh. Just take a deep breath. And, and go to the doctor. I'm glad go you to the did. Go to the but doctor. your pride will keep you from doing it. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm, I'll be okay. I'm, yeah. I was like, take care of me because I'm a hypochondriac like my grandmother. She told us for 85 years she was going to die, and she finally did. They finally she was, got her. She was right. Finally, she the whole said, time she was finally right. Finally got her, boys. Hey. My face was numb yeah. because the night before, me and Lisa were watching the movie, and I fell asleep. No, we know what happened because you got the UTI. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> I ain't telling y'all nothing else. So <laughs> help me. I ain't gonna help me. This is what happens when we have a live studio audience. <laughs> we it do. gets weird. Oh, I just, we do. Oh, we bring the heat. I just Whoa. know every UTI I've ever been associated with had some side effect, or they were caused by something. I don't know what caused this. I just didn't like it. That's all I'm. Do you have say. a UTI too? No, why are we still talking about those? I was, he didn't get checked. I still don't even know what those are. Did they sound have, like did a you calculator. Get, were you dehydrated? No, I was fine. I just had, they, there's some long name. My Guess. rib cartilage is inflamed, basically. Your what? My ribs. I don't know. Your I ate a bunch of inflamed. ribs this weekend. <laughs> yeah, ribs and Italian sausage. And, and the then he wants say, to no, know it ain't heartburn. I think He's I'm, like, I feel some bubbling going on I've in al- here. I've always had the, like, I've had an iron <laughs> belly my whole life. That changes. Oh, well, and I feel too. like, with age. I feel like I found. Yeah, I, I hit 38 now. I love jalapenos, but if I sniff just like a regular jalapeno. Belly tore up for like two days. I can't eat onions. Oh, and Friday I ate a ton of jalapenos. I think I I used to be able to 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 eat a whole jar. Oh, I could eat them. I used to love eating them on like a freedom. I can't. No, No. tear my belly up so fast. Yeah. Yeah, well, I we're glad you're car. okay. I guess I'm, I'm glad drinking you're okay. Again. Yeah, we both almost died and didn't even know it. I Look did not come close to dying. I was dead and I barely made it. They got me back to life. They, I literally just went to the doctor for them to tell me that I was. So you had gas. Yeah. What did he say to do to get rid of? It? I mean, he give you like medicine, or he just say, "Oh just no, they gave me, rip. It gave me he gave me some medicine, <laughs> and so I said, "Don't come around me." 
<laughs> oh. yeah, give it a few days. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for real? Well, that's better because like when the boys when the boys get all swollen up from gas, you you lift their legs up and stick a little thing up there. Wait, you is go, that what's happening to me? If you'd have been home, I, yes, I'd have come over and let you do it. Oh, I got plenty of so I just and the coconut oil. To just, on. <laughs> You the, never even know what's there. The bro. relief. <laughs> the yeah. relief. Stay away. But if that thing no, whistles, no, you got to no, get no, out the way. No, yeah. no, no, what are you doing? Bring your no, own no, diaper. Hey. I ain't got none in your side. <laughs> the best part of this is if there's any doctors listening, which I know there's not, because oh. why would they? Yeah, they don't want to get so done. upset. They're with too all educated all to listen to this. Of all the science we're spilling right now, none of it is probably correct. <laughs> so I quit. Size doesn't take his headset off. I went to the doctor this morning too. Wasn't none of that though. I just I, I couldn't hear nothing out of my right ear. What? We're falling apart. No, I just finally got what the boys had. Oh, uh, I got a bunch of fluid on the back of my ear. Oh, fluid on your ear. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess what we're asking for is prayers. Oh, uh, yeah, from the right. people because we're all falling apart again. Well, yeah, we're falling apart. Well, yeah, we're old. Some of us. I mean, that's the funny thing about age and time. You know what? It's all of us. You know what? Uh, <laughs> you know what old Doctor Taylor told me this morning? Caitlin. Yeah. Huh? I didn't know if you were talking about Caitlin or Grant, but no, I went to Caitlin. I don't know, but Grant's been there every time. This I is about by there, for so. humans, not but, but deer. But I said, um, so I'm not going to die, and she goes, "Yeah, you are. <laughs> no time soon, though. You're good." And I was like, "Weird way to say that." She doesn't know that. That's she, right. Jesus I'm wearing shorts. Morning or not. Whoa. What's that? Oh, he's ready. Oh, it's it's like short, his, short, song. his short's got holes in, in case you need me. <laughs> we should take a break immediately. But we have a guest. Mm, we do. I'm going to bow out. All right. He's been wanting to be on this podcast for a minute now, haven't you? Yeah. Well, here we go. Flight smile. I'm oh. out of here. This is your seat. Sorry about the butt sweat. I got my wrist. Oh. He got, oh. His, he got his oh, rest my on pillow. my pillow. Oh. Hey, I got oh. all of my rest on my pillow. That's a lot of rest. Hey. Right. hey. Well, I'm glad you're good and rested because, hey. you know, that's what Mike Lindell did it for. Hey, Mike hey, Lindell, he's always boy. looking for a way to solve everyday problems. That's right. Make, and make the people happy. And you know, if a man can make a pillow like that, hey, you've got make. to be able to trust his towels. That's right. right? The towels are oh, phenomenal. Hey. Uh, yeah, the towels are legit. The towels are okay. good. The I, slippers. It ain't nothing worse than getting a towel. Them sheets are good. And, hey, and still be wet, okay? What? After drying off. Oh, yeah. that, that's not a problem with his towels. No. Well, I know. well, I'm just saying, hey, that's why I love them towels. Yeah, okay? because the six-piece MyPillow towel sets have 100% long staple Chaper cotton. It is a combed ring-spun cotton that makes the towel softer and more absorbent than ever. Say that ten times. The towels actually dry you. No, no. Hey, and look, you know what you actually used it for? What? If it's cold and your blanket's too thin, I've laid them on top of me and made <laughs> made a, a quilt out of them. So I said, this thing went from my towel to my uh, blanket. My blanket. Hey, right. Right. hey, I'm like Lionel. Look, and the cool thing is they will not easily peel or tear, <laughs> even after being repeatedly washed and dried. They come in a variety of colors, and right now you can receive a six-piece set for only twenty nine ninety eight with promo code DUCK. My towels also come with a 10-year warranty. Just go to MyPillow.com right now and click on the radio podcast specials. Look, we and can't talk enough out of 40 of them because you want them. Well, it's I don't think six buy, of them. Yeah, so you, it's a six-speed. That's less than $5 a towel. Yeah. It's a great deal. I, hey, that's why I'd buy 40 of them. Well, there 40, you go. 46 I a, packs. I, look, I, that's I've wild. got them. That's 240 <laughs> towels. I love them, yeah. son. Yeah, wow. a lot of towels. <laughs> to receive this amazing offer of a six-piece set of MyPillow towels for only twenty nine ninety eight, just go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio podcast specials and enter promo code DUCK. Go to MyPillow.com and enter promo code DUCK. Or call 800-969-3137 to get your MyPillow towels today. That's MyPillow.com, promo code DUCK, and do not waste it. Or do call it now. 800-969-3137. Do it now. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. We have got a special guest, a friend of mine by the name of Layton Flat, and he also brought his wife, Emmy. Hey, Emmy. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Glad you're here with us. So, you Time out. Before you go anywhere, how did you find the only man in America that's wearing a shirt that says medium plus? 
Huh? I didn't yeah, well, notice. Medium plus. <laughs> well, you didn't notice it's staring right back at me. Listen, I don't like to get political, but when I find a, a thing I'm I'm passionate about, I get a shirt made. Hey, there you go. There si. you go. Look, it's still a fake temperature steak, but it made a shirt. So yeah, I have to order all my merch for tour, and I, I sent them this, and they were like, I don't know what that is, but we'll print it. All right, and I was like, I'm. There you go. Hey, we got a medium plus steak this weekend. At the Gil- at, at Gillies. Yeah. Oh, well, your microphone's down, sir. So. Well, Leighton, welcome to the show, man. Yeah. This is cool. Where are you hail so, from? Uh, I live in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, okay. But I'm on tour all over the country. So, uh, yeah, I we, got you. I are you originally from Springfield? Uh, I was born in Lincoln, Nebraska. Okay. Moved to Springfield. Yeah, tour. I do stand up my opening line because this is all new. I grew my hair and beard out when I lost a bunch of weight. And uh, people harass me. They call me. Like, I literally had a show the other day. I walked in, and some drunk guy was like, what, building duck calls didn't work out for you or what? Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, that's my line on one of the shows. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I start every show with, that's all my Facebook became is, when's Duck Dynasty back on the air? And I'm in. I don't know. But um, So living in Springfield, we talk about food a lot. Have you yeah. ever Haruno you eat at that place, the sushi bar? No, I'm a stand-up. Well, I'm more of a Arby's two for three kind of guy. Oh, okay. Uh, I yeah. just wonder because it's like he's one, my people. That's the one you were talking about. <laughs> it's on one show of the a long it's, time ago, it's right? one of the top three sushi restaurants I've ever been to. Wow! wow. And I ate crazy. a lot of sushi all around the country, y'all. So, what do you do in Springfield? What brings you through there? Bass Pro. Okay. Like when we have to go have our sales meetings and dealer meetings and stuff like that, we're up there. Well, since that C word happened, we don't really have to go anymore. We do everything digitally, but we used to be there twice a year, spring and fall. So nice. For line yeah. reviews and oh, yeah. I've driven that miserable drive up through North Arkansas. It's terrible. Which is, North Arkansas, beautiful. That road is just—it's two lanes. Mm. Yeah, that's all. I mean, it takes forever to get there. Well, you ain't going nowhere, but it takes forever to get there. Can I well, tell I, you? I got a question. Yeah. How long have you been in stand up comedy? Uh, I started when I was 19 years old. I'm 25. Okay, 25 yeah. so 60. Or 20 years old. I celebrated my 21st birthday on stage. Oh. You enjoy it. It's the best thing I've ever done. Um, and the problem is there's not a lot, of, uh, not a lot of men uh, in my world that are Christians doing it. So I have a I weird blended close. world yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's same. the best thing I've done in my entire. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> it's the best thing I've done in my entire. I've got to see the country. I got to take my friend to see the ocean for the first time. He's the uh, same age as Johnny D. He's never seen the ocean. Stand up paid for us to do that. Really? Uh, I get right. paid to see my parents. I get to go stay at their house. I, I got to do a show in West Monroe last uh, last month. Worst show of the tour, but uh, wow, that's yeah. funny that you have a friend that has never seen the ocean. And my favorite place on earth is where the Mississippi River runs into the Gulf of Mexico, yeah, in no. the marsh. And you know, we drove, we flew yeah. all the way from Springfield to Orlando, Florida, and he went, ah, and then we just went back to the hotel, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was hey, that was, was his response. And I was like, well, I'm not taking, and then we went to the hills of Iowa. And he went, this is the most beautiful thing I've seen in my life. And I'm like, you're backwards. That's what you are. <laughs> yeah. I had each his own. What? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not a beach guy. No. I love fishing on I, the ocean. I, I love like, the beach. Yeah, fishing. I'm not a beach guy. I'd rather go spend oh, time. Oh, I'm not a beach guy either. But, the, you know, the ocean has got so much life. So much variety of life. Just, Biologically you know, diverse. Yeah, and Monroe, oh, yeah, Louisiana yeah. has such a variety of crime. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, no. We got Good we, thing almost, we don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> we this is the only oh, town. Hot. A whole a hundred plus cities we've toured to. This is the only one where I almost got robbed out of my car really? <laughs> after our show. Yeah. Welcome to Monroe. This where, is West. Uh, West Monroe. Monroe was a big step up, but Monroe was like, oh wow, mm. yeah, no, that's crazy. So, what's the hardest thing about stand up? Um, Standing there. Oh, I can Waiting that. for the next show. Sai, Sai's funny. Everywhere no, we no, go, he I walks on stage that. and he's he just puts a show together. Yeah, you know? I'll let you open up for me the any day. The hardest thing about stand-up comedy is getting the public to laugh. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm serious. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tough crowd. I don't feel like you have any hey. problem with that. Yeah, well, hey. I think you're good. I says that you want to come do a show. You the mic's yours any day. You can have the whole show. Sai, si, you ever been somewhere where they didn't laugh at you? Uh, no, <laughs> the crematorium. <laughs> no. Audience was no. dead. <laughs> can, can I no, tell hey. you? No, because I ain't got to laugh at that because they put me come see Uncle Sai in the obituary column. <laughs> oh yeah, Uncle Sai's oh. back at the crematorium. Come on, Sai. 
Uh, Hunter's got buttons can, over here. I'm sorry. Can I can I tell you the the best part about the entire tour? All right, you're, you guys are snack people. So I did a show and they gave my buddy a tattoo gun after the show. I never held a tattoo gun, and I was like, "Let's match my tattoos. Let's go, Jesus." And he heard Cheez Its. <laughs> <laughs> I got this Cheez It on me for the rest of my life. <laughs> and he drew that. He drew that, and then it got. We we're like, "Well, let's go in." So then I got this goldfish. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's a pretty good artist. Don't now take that off. <laughs> he, we have an ongoing argument. It's it's if if it was on your body permanently, you would not think you would see the missing lines. No, nah, buddy, I'm clean. I, me and tattoos don't jihaw, but needles. Me and needles don't. No, oh, I don't we mind can, needles. I no. just I don't know. I ain't I don't. never been. My wife's got tattoos. She loves them. That's just not my deal. We didn't get his answer a while ago. I would have one. one of, the you hardest ask, part. Yeah, the, the hardest hard. part. Um, thank, thank you, son. I, honestly, I absolutely. I mean, we spend every single week writing, and it is hard. But the hardest part for me is to sit every single week until I get to do my next show. That's the hard. Okay. I, I, so you go hard. somewhere every week, or just like about, how's that work? Yeah, about, like so. Actually, um, today we're in West Monroe, right? I was in Council Bluffs, Iowa, Sunday morning. Oh wow! Um, and then I'll go back. I have a hometown show, and then I'm off to uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I've got uh, we just finished up in Mississippi, Alabama, Oklahoma. It turns into a rap song after a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't. But I can't you do sit like still. you work churches or bars, or I'm at, I don't. I will take anywhere that will have me. I got you. Uh, yeah, I love to do churches. They're a little bit harder to get into because uh, you know they don't have like a entertainment regimen. Yeah, like a bar or comedy yeah. club yeah. would. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite famous enough to just pick a comedy club and get that one yet. Not even close, I don't think, but I'm trying. So we do, we do. I mean, I've done anything from basements to comedy clubs to, to parking lots to. I mean, we did a drive-in movie theater during COVID. That sucked. It rained. Um, yeah, there was seven cars. They were over there. <laughs> they gave me a microphone that sounded like I was like you want to you want to go to the state fair and they make announcements. Oh no, that, that was. <laughs> and then I couldn't hear the last because they were in their car. So <laughs> oh, no, I had a band once in, back in my. <laughs> oh, that is uh, a joke. That's oh, a good no, one, Sam. No, no. And hey, the thing about it is, you know, we went and where the stands are, okay, is there's 10 roofs. And the sound system with that is like he's talking about, you can't understand nothing being said or sung or anything. Yeah, that's probably your best work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just you know, so it don't make any difference what you do. Yeah, unbelievable. We, we had that happen recently. We had <laughs> a storm. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, well, let's get Johnny D back in here. We're gonna wrap it up. I see how I see. No, we got to hey, do the. Layton, uh, thank you, Layton, yeah. for being on with us. We got a standing email section, so yeah. Hey, but he can hand you his computer. You can pick him. <laughs> 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 no, I don't hey. mind. Uh, but we'll be back right after Wish this. You the best, man. Johnny D, how do you how now do you that, like your job as a producer? Now that we're back and I was behind the camera for a little while pressing buttons, I'd like to apologize to the people. Hunter lied to me. He said that that drum was going to go, and it wasn't. Mm. And so I just found out I did a whole drum solo. Over well, there. look. Yeah. Hey, he made an apology. Thank you. Look at that. Thank you very much. Well, hey, we Thank love you. you, Hunter. All right, Johnny D. What's in that mailbag? All right. Mailbag. Sarah from Tucson, Arizona. Mm -hmm. I All think right. this is a Facebook comment. Okay. Beth sent it to me via email. Um, she took her mom to see the blind today. They really enjoyed it. Her mom wasn't familiar with all the things, but she did have to lean over and ask, what's a gar hole? Oh. It's a gar What's a gar hole, Martin? Well, as our man, our comedian friend pointed out, Monroe, gar hole. <laughs> gar hole. Big gar. Big gar. <laughs> Mega gar. Um, no, gar holes are just places where the um, the result you expected did not quite turn out as you had hoped It's for. a oh, hole. A waste of time gar. hole. A yeah, waste a gar. of time. So for her, Tucson, I don't know how much experience. So a gar is considered, quote unquote, a trash fish. Off. So if you go fishing and you catch gar, that's a poor outing. You're you got generally nothing. after something. Now there are people who eat gar, and I've heard they're great. Gar balls, mm -hmm. all those things. So it's not like a. It's just a redneck colloquialism. Yeah, gar hole. So if it's you go some fishing somewhere, you don't catch nothing but gar. You're like, man, that sucks. So there's your gar hole. Good. Gar place hole. is a gar hole. Perfect. It's, it's like hunting and fishing. If you're hunting something like say doves, 
and you go and you don't see any doves, gar. no fire shot. That's gar, a gar hole. Gar, gar hole. That's a gar And hole. we've just so we we've gone as far to shorten it as to gar. And there's different right. levels of gar. There's different levels of gar. There, there's a pretty gar. <laughs> there's an alligator gar. Which means gar. you guard out, but the place was beautiful. And pretty and gar. Also, Johnny D, if you if you add on the front of it, this place is a gar hole. Then that's a lot more passion. I mean, you've you've had to think it through. Yeah. You, you're very frustrated with it. Mega gar means out. there was nothing endearing about the experience. Mm -mm. So the place didn't look good, like all the things. But this place is a gar hole. I prefer on gars if we're gonna gar, it needs to be a pretty gar. Let me at least look at something that looks pretty good. Gar so. holes suck. Yeah. Gar holes go. just a place that stinks. That's it. There you go. If you ever yeah. go fishing, somebody gar holes you. It means there's no fish there. Yeah. <laughs> no good fish. All right, Tucson, now you know. Cody emails in, how's it going, fellas? Oh, hi, how's right? it going, Cody? Hi, he Cody. He doesn't say where he's from, but how's it going, fellas, is not how I would start it. So I'm going to say. Hi, Cody. He is from up north. He's an active hunter, loves the outdoors. Mm -hmm. He has about 10 acres. The deer get very close to the house. So close, he could throw a feather and hit them. Whack them. Mm. So I started to hunt out of my upstairs window. Yes. Uh -oh. Yes. Right? <laughs> Having shot a deer out of the window of my buddy's house, I support this state. That's right. That's right. What happened? Go ahead. The question is, is this okay? Absolutely. <laughs> or is this cheating? Side note, it's how he's killed his biggest deer. And to that, Cody, I say. Hey, man. Congrats. That's it. There's a whole brand on YouTube that's oh. built their deal off of suburban deer hunting. I Seek one. Go check them out. That's all they do. They hunt city deer. So they're hunting deer that live around people, and they kill giants. Yeah. I have a buddy who built a house. His name will go anonymous. Krill. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Chad. He, <laughs> oh, when I say you said both of them. Okay. We're all supposed to say one. All that's right. Well, that's now a, you know. That's a He gar. built a house, and he put an office above a garage, and that's where he does his work. And he also put a window. And a feeder. Very strategically out into yeah. the Side. woods beside his house, that's and he. That's, you know who that is, Creel. Yeah, that's 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 Chad's deer stand, and he was like, "Man, that's a brilliant idea." And I was like, "Agreed." Yeah, sit there, watch TV with air conditioner. What's the difference yeah. in that and a tree? Look, having fed a deer backstrap to this whole office on Friday, I think there's more people here that support that decision. Beth, our Canadian friend who helps run the podcast, had never had venison until Friday. And you did it. She on, wants more. You did that on Friday when I not like on a day I'd be here. When I us sure three did. were us three. I were did out. it when I knew the attendance. I, I'm had, a little put out. JD. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did. I it. didn't get the memo. About I didn't. We're having venison. No. That I did it. I on get the a lunch day. break on days we don't film. <laughs> yeah, but you got the factor, so I'm not worried. <laughs> what about is love? But I was gone, so I'll, I'll allow it. Hey, that's fine. I did it on the day where I know participation is the lowest. Okay, fine. Right. That was strategic. Hey, that was on purpose. It is to he purposely left uh, us out. It right. is to people for to have people here maybe want to show up when they hear things like that happen on a Friday. Uh -huh. If not, keep doing what you're doing, and we'll keep eating good on a Friday. And that's oh, another I term I like to call weeded out. Weeded out. Bro. Let me tell you what that deer was. It was no gar. Mm. So, you want to send us out of here with a Bible Let's verse? Let's send us time. out of here with the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest episode of. Being buried and cremated and all the things. Well, so you got anything with fire in it, JD? <laughs> I don't have anything with fire in it, but I got a little something, I think. Philippians 3, 20 through 21. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies. And we'll be just like him. So that we will be like his no, glorious right. body. Hey, Boom. Man. That's all I got. It Good didn't job. limit the transformation style. Y'all take that home with you. All right. We'll yeah. see y'all next time. Me. We're out.